This planet of ours, the Earth, has been in existence for billions of years. Only because all the essentials for existence are present, life has been thriving here from time immemorial. It is also likely to thrive in the time to come. But the Earth has witnessed enormous changes over the time. If you talk about the time billions of years ago, huge changes have taken place. Change is the law of nature and it will continue the same way. The proofs hidden in the womb of nature reveal the information and we come to know about the major events which took place in the past. Roaming through the mountain valleys and exploring the oceans and rivers, we came to know how the form and nature of the earth transformed. The entire lifespan of four and a half billion years of the earth was accurately presumed and arrived at with the help of scientific data. You would be surprised to know that based on the pattern the earth is transforming on and looking to the changes which took place in the past, the scientists have foreseen the form of the earth of future. We are also surprised to know the fact. Come on, let's take a future ride and see what our earth will look like after a billion years. Today we are going to learn how would it feel to spend a day on the earth after a billion years. One billion years later, a day on the earth. The planet is not as it was earlier. It has changed completely, so much so that it is difficult to even breathe here because the oxygen required for breathing has run out. The artificial changes which took place in the past have exhausted the natural gas. Due to hot and poisonous gases, the temperature of the earth has risen to 70 to 80 degrees. Now. Life is not possible here, only and only barren land all around. The trees which could control the rising temperature have burnt away. Only barren land and cracks and cracks theron can be seen all around. Days are now longer on the earth. Day has elongated from 24 hours to 29 hours. The reason is that with the passage of time, the speed of revolution of the earth has decelerated. This has caused a longer day. If seen from the space, it doesn't look green and blue. It only looks red and brown. Because greenery is no more there, nor are the oceans over there. What remains is the dry soil and the barren land. This change has taken place because of the rising temperature and harsh glowing of the sun. All the water has dried up because of the temperature being 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. The surface which was full of greenery once upon a time has turned into a barren planet. The continents on the globe are still visible. But with the passage of time, the shape has changed because of the movement of tectonic plates. They are no more as they were earlier. However, the movement of the tectonic plates has stopped and the continents have stabilized at their respective places. This earth, which was our abode once upon a time, looks very strange now. If we come to this planet as of now, it will feel as if the environment and pressure over here is not at all suitable for us. All the possibilities of life surviving here have exhausted. The sky is not blue now in color, but it is gray. All the water has evaporated and humidity is there on the upper surface only. Nothing is visible on the ground except lifeless land and stones. The moon has gone distant from the earth and looks smaller. The traces of the earth that we had known have been buried deep into the sands of time. No traces of our civilization, inventions by mankind, battles and experiences all carry no meaning now because during this million years time, many such civilizations evolved and vanished. All of them are now untraceable. Looking to this form of the earth, it's hard to believe that once upon a time it had been the abode of the mankind. Where would the mankind be that time? Can't be said. Possibly we would either be on another planet of the solar system which might be suitable for life to thrive or would have become extinct. We the mankind would be in existence or not. But surely in some or the other form 
life would have been breathing again in this solar system so friends that was something about the form and nature of the earth after a billion years please do tell us by leaving a comment as to how did you like this video if you liked it please share it with your friends see you in the next video with a new topic till then goodbye from neha agarkar